along Venetian Drive, where William Lowe has a first floor apartment, number four, according to the police report. Those living around here had only one reaction. Yeah, I think it's just kind of shocking to hear this happen in your community. It's just such a gruesome act. The community where William Lowe lives is on the barrier island, surrounded by homes worth in the millions. An apartment in Lowe's building is listed online for 1.1 million. The wife lived here? Yeah, oh they found God. a chainsaw. Oh my God, how can you do that? How can you possibly do that? It was all quiet on the first floor near Lowe's apartment, but police say neighbors suspicious were alerted, especially by noises of doors closing and opening in the middle of the night and strange stain trails leading up to a second floor apartment that the police report says Lowe had access to. A block away, the Intracoastal Waterway, where police say suitcases with body parts were found on July 21st. We found it almost directly across the Intracoastal uh, on the rocks. Pool maintenance man Jacob Grozier says his crew found one suitcase. My pool tech who found it, uh, Eli, said as soon as he saw it with the smell and everything, he felt like there was something wrong. So they kind of, he, him and his helper used the pool pole to push it, thinking it was, oh, it's going to be an empty suitcase. But it didn't move. It was like completely full. Police say residents recall seeing a man standing along the shoreline five or six times over three days and one home security camera recording it. Well, the suitcases was a story that everybody was uh, you know, talking about, but nobody thought that it happened here. I think they thought perhaps it, you know, well, it's in the Intracoastal. It could have been miles away and the current took it down here. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.